Hi, this is Keith Parsons, Dr. NetFlow with Action Pack Networks. Today I'd like to show you some of the QoS configuration capabilities we have within Live Action. Here we are looking at Live Action, and the first thing I'd like to demonstrate to you is our ability of being able to trace a problem back to an interface. And here we are looking at an interface in Amber that has a problem with quality of service. If we notice on the bottom right, Voice over IP is in Amber, indicating that we're actually dropping traffic in that class. One of the first things about configuration within our tool is that we can actually go out and modify this class on the fly. So within live action, we can go and open up our dialog box, and I actually can change bandwidth on the fly or queue settings very easily from within the tool and take corrective action. So we'll be able to save it to device here and give you a demonstration of how easy it is to modify things on the fly. On the second way of looking at monitoring and controlling uh, QoS, we'll go to this Cisco router and we can actually see that there's actually, once again, interfaces and policies uh, that are applied. So I can actually take an interface such as this one, an input interface for VLAN 10, and I can create a policy from template. So within live action, we have advanced templates already pre-programmed based on Cisco best practices that you can roll these templates out regardless of 11 base template down to custom templates as well that we have to make it very easy to deploy quality of service in your network. For those of you who already have your own policies, we do this very well that we pick up your existing policies on the network and be able to apply those as well. So in this example, you can see here are all the policies that are on my router and I can easily just arrow down, pick the policy I want, pick the interface I like and apply that policy and apply that policy to that interface very easily. We control quality of service very well from within the tool. If I manage QoS settings, we go inside the dialog box and now here are all the policies that are on the router. The ones with check marks indicate the policies that are applied, such as this set DSCP policy that we have here. And notice if I click on the class name, I'll show you the match statement. So to give you a demonstration, I can actually easily delete a match statement from this actual policy that's in service right now. So I can actually preview the CLI to see the change and then apply that change very easily and modify the policy on the fly. Just on the same note, it's very easy for me to go ahead and add a match statement. So I'll edit, select the match type that I'd like to use. I'll use protocol using NBAR and once again select CUC me and add the match statement. Save it to device and once again look how easy it is for me to modify policies. Want to create a new policy? It's as simple as selecting the icon giving it a name, and then once again click OK, and I've now created a policy here on the router. As you can see, the default class, and then I can add classes to the policy, and notice how I pick up all the classes automatically from the policies, making it easy so you don't have to keep recreating the wheel over and over to make it easy to be able to define policies. In addition, what if I wanted to put shaping? So I can actually shape this actual policy and go in and put in a value and then I can actually take my policy and drop it right on top and create a nested policy as I'm demonstrating right now. If you like what you see with our tools so far, just all you need to do is just go ahead and give us a call or go to our website at www.actionpack.com and download the free demo. Thanks again.